I'm old Greg, motherfucker! Alright. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to episode, I don't even know, uh... Five, six, seven, I don't know. Something along the lines of Come here, come here! Come here! Ow! Bad doggy. Whoop! Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Hello? Hello? Hop! Ow. Come out to me, demon! Ow. Fuck you. Yeah, stop sounding like a drain. Uh, draining. Ah, shit. If I remember correct, there's another snaky demon over here. Yep. Die, bitch! Die, bitch! Die, bitch. Ow! Oh, hey! Oh! Aha! Ow! That hurt. Uh. Hey, that's not very nice to hit people. Ow! Fuck! Damn! He handed me my ass on a platinum platter. Damn it. Okay. Oh, fuck you! Come on! You gotta be- You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. We still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. Alright, just checking. If I had two screens, I wouldn't have to check and, like, exit out of the window. But you know it is. Anyway, what am I gonna talk about? Uh fucking We are going to try to kill the uh warrior of the Boreal Valley or whatever the fuck he's gonna I don't know. Oh in the butt. Fuck you. Come here, baby. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I wanna also... I wanna... Where the fuck you go? Jumping attack. Which... If I didn't mention it before, now I am. If you jump off of a ledge or something like that and attack, uh, you know, just regular attack with, you know, while you're falling, you will perform a strong attack. Oh! Damn, that actually looked like it went into his kidney. Ah, eh, you only need one to live. Though the body made two for a reason, you don't need both of them necessarily. It's not detriment well, that too detrimental to your health if you have. I'm gonna kill this fucker. Damn it! Yep. Up. Oh, damn it! I don't remember this guy being that hard. Or maybe that's because I usually used, like, pyromancy. Ow. Ow. Leave me alone! Ah, 
Ah, shit. Hey! Oh, hey, ho, hey. Oh, I see you got yourself a metallic uh, paint job. All right, I'm gonna go down here. Oh, shit. That doesn't look like blood. That looks like a paint job for, like, a car. Damn it! Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. Hey! Oh, Jesus. Titanite shard and an ember. Yeah, that. Jesus. <laughs> Painted the whole place. Yeah, doesn't it look like a metallic red for like a car? I mean, I know that there's iron in blood, but I don't think there's that much iron. Oh, deserters. Oh, are you still alive? Not anymore. I don't remember, was there something here? No illusory, no illusory wall ahead. Yeah, there isn't, yet it looks like, I mean, look at that, come on. I don't know, maybe for a DLC. Actually, no, there's one that actually is like in the shape of that, but it's like, it's like a flat wall, but you can kind of see there's an outline of like an arch. It's like a graphical kind of glitchy thing. Fuck you! That was that bleed damage uh, thingamadoogie going on there. Uh, I got 7,000 souls. I'm gonna try and level up. And, uh, is it me or does this katana look a lot longer than a normal katana? Like, take off about, let's see if I can uh, move this tree to, like, cut off yeah make it that long and I would say yes that's that's a normal katana but then it's like a whole foot longer than it usually is I don't know it just seems too long to me and then of course the washing pole is like ridiculous like even Sephiroth would be like okay maybe that's a little too long <sighs> let's go level up I'm waiting for a gift for my, uh, fur. I'm waiting a gift for my, uh, one of my, uh, one of my, my only, uh, brother to finally get here. I bought him some butterfly knives, which also are known as Balasong. Ah, good one. And, uh, I have a Balasong, like, um, as well, but he was where I sort of found out about them. Ooh, sweet, I can level it up. I'm gonna do that. Right. Do I need to? Oh, I got one. Do I have any more? No. Alright. Be because, like, he likes to collect knives and stuff, and, uh, although he, like, doesn't exactly, you know, he's very fr uh, frugal with his money, so he doesn't really have the time or, you know, just doesn't, like, he likes to do it, but he just doesn't very often, so he was the one that made, who, like, told me about butterfly knives, and... So I figured, hey, you know, his birthday, I'll, I'll just get him a, you know, a bunch of butterfly knives. I got him like three butterfly knives, uh, one trainer, one Bowie, uh, Bowie knife style blade one, and one like Tonto style. Um... Which, pretty, I think he'll like him a lot. 
Should I? Should, mm, I don't know what I should do. I'm gonna do. Okay. There we go. All right. Anyway, I think the first time I ever saw a butterfly knife was in the movie The Mummy the remake with uh, Brendan uh, Brendan uh, Fraser. Fraser is that his name? Fraser. Brendan Fraser. Like he flicks it out and stuff like that. Like when he goes to like cut cut the scarab out of the guy's arm and shit. So. Weird thing is, if you look at that, if you see that movie, like, you look at it and it's like, wait a second, that, that doesn't look like an old-fashioned butterfly knife. Like, butterfly knives are actually very old. In fact, there has been controversy between where they're actually from, and uh, a butterfly knife was depicted in a novel, a French novel, that was uh, from the, like, 1590s. Like, it was from a very long time ago. And so... Haha! Can't get me. So, anyway, that's... That's a very, very old book. And that's a very, very old blade. And if you go online, you can actually go and find, like, World War II uh, butterfly knives. <laughs> Or era butterfly knives, not necessarily from World War II, but they're from that era. And even older ones, like from the 1890s or 1880s, 1860s, 1850s. I mean, like, they're old. That's what I'm trying to get across here. <laughs> so, I find that kind of cool that something that intricate. You know, was created such a long time ago. Aha. And go behind you and aha. Take night shard. And we're gonna go to the second boss fight. Now this is where shit gets real, yo. Uh, oh shit, before we do that, let's go and get the flag, because we need the flag. Alright, these guys are a pain in the ass. These guys will kick your ass if you're not careful. I'm just gonna go inside. I need that, uh... I need that flag. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Loading. Alright, this old lady is like, Oh, you gotta go and get the shoes and stuff. Here's a flag. Okay. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. Yes, I, I can see that. You're so old, there's literally you. dust coming off you. Allow me to speak frankly. Okay, can I be George? The of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes. Frank doesn't talk like that at all! This castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall. Forge on through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. Small Lothric banner. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Just be like, hey, take the flag, I'm friggin' here. Go kill that dude and raise the flag and shit, and you'll be, you be alright. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh shit. You almost got me that time. I hope I can do it with five Estus flasks. I mean, I have fought this, this boss before, but I don't know, you never know. 
Okay, let's go up to this gross ass looking wall. Oh, I see. Hmm. I love how the char oh, my character is just like, uh, fuck. That's something that wants to kill me, isn't it? It turns around. Yep. There it is. Who's a pretty baby? You are. Oh, that's uh, what lovely eyes you have. Basically, just go inside of its butt. I go and do this. Ah! Ah! In your butt. Whoa! Uh. Oh! In your butt. In your butt. Oh shit! He's gonna charge. Ha ha! Ha ha! And ha ha! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck! All right. Oh shit! And one more. Ah shit! No! Oh, that booty. Give me that boot. Oh, shit. Give me that booty! Uh, I think I could do it. I almost have him. Watch out! Come at me, beast! Ah! Killing blow! Got him. Oh, shit, y'all. And now the gates open up. Oh, shit, y'all. Oh, shit, me. Oh, oh. God. Wait. The frame rates. Frame. But. Okay. Loading. Gonna connect to the internet. How did this fellow die? Can I, can I not touch his blood stain? No, I can. It doesn't do anything. The fuck is this shit? That nah, bullshit, man. All right. Uh, well, there's nothing much I could do back home at the Firelink Shrine, so I'm just gonna go over here and raise the flag. Whatever. Oh, tons of people committing suicide, I see. Well, that was the boss. The fucking Boreal Valley... ...thing. And then, of course, there's the goddamn dancer of the Boreal Valley. That boss... SUCKS! Oh, oh, who's pretty? Who? Oh, someone's a smiley, chipper little fellow. Oh, you guys want to make friends, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think those are like the servants of Lothric. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too akin to the lore. Well, that was... 
nice of those demons from hell. How, how nice of them. Look at that, a bonfire right here now. It's fucking there. Then I go across into that gate over there, and then there's a fucking another bonfire. And for, oh, yeah, that's right. There's the first. Oh, there's my giant buddy over there. Yes, he is shooting a giant bow and arrow. That is basically the arrow is the size of a goddamn tree trunk. Large soul of a deserted corpse. I am not going to jump down there, otherwise I am going to... A, either break my legs, or B, die. Oh, these guys are all fuck... are all fucking... gonna die. Bad poochies. Bad poochies. Ba pooch. Poochy pooch. Poochy pooch. Poochy pooch. No! You serious? Poochy pooch. Come on, pooch. Come on, pooch. Fuck you! Ha! Oh, that kind of looks like the dog that my sister left with us. It's like, oh, it's so cute! And then she fucking left, left our left at home and then ditched us with disgusting looking mongrel dog. Which, like, there's nothing wrong with, like, mutts or anything. In fact, genetic diverse dogs are usually smarter and have better longevity than purebreds but uh hi alluring skull oh my buddy's over here one of these things is not like the other one of these things just doesn't belong here Grant me death. Undo my shackle. <laughs> mm. Downer. Oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor, a pilgrim as you can see only... Somehow, I failed to die as was ordained. Oh. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? No. I was once a sorcerer. <sighs> Surely I can be of use. You don't want to do that. Yes, you want to accept a service if you want to get the best ending. Oh. Truly, I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Are these those snake people? God damn it! You know what? Fuck it. Th th that's the episode. That's the episode. Fuck it. I ain't doing this no more! Fuck you, Internet! Fuck you! And fuck you, Winstrain! Eat a dick! <sighs> thank, 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 thank you for watching. More in the next episode. Fucking hell. <laughs>